Hello and welcome to Breakfast Central Sports Update. I'm Udoka Njoko. Now, since Argentina won the FIFA World Cup in Qatar, Lionel Messi's fans have been talking and, of course, inking his image on their bodies to pay tribute to the football legend. Messi led Argentina to a third World Cup win last week, and following the victory, many flocked to Tattoo Palace in Buenos Aires to commission designs depicting the star player. Now, videos and images posted on social media showed different kinds of World Cup tattoos inked into the skin of the country's population. From Messi's face to the number 10 jersey of Lionel Messi supporting the World Cup trophy and the three stars that people who got inked said they wanted a tattoo to remember the historic tournament. Nos dio la alegría más grande a todos los argentinos. Eh, creo que lo merecía mucho y después de que no se le dio tantas veces se le pudo dar y es algo es algo lindo. Fue una promesa del primer partido cuando perdió contra Arabia Saudita que medio que todo el mundo le iba perdiendo fe y nada yo dije que estaba segura de que iba a ganar y dije que si sí, ganaba me tatuaba la copa y me lo tatué con la fecha también. Señal de, me tatuó a Messi en señal de agradecimiento, ¿no? A Messi representa en realidad no solamente lo que es Messi, sino lo que representa lo que fue y lo que es este equipo. All right, moving over to Ghana, Joseph Pensil is still being beaten and he has come out to criticize the former Black Stars coach Otto Ado following his exclusion from the squad for the just ended 2022 World Cup. The KRC gang winger was surprisingly left out of Ghana's squad for the Mundial, which was hosted in Qatar after being named in the 55-man provisional squad. Speaking in an interview at the end of the World Cup, the Ghana international disclosed that he was unfairly treated. He also said Otoado killed his World Cup dreams. Now, prior to the World Cup, Joseph Pencil was Ghana's best winger in the world with six goals and six assists after making 14 league appearances for Genk. And to football results now, in the Egypt Premier League, Ismail lost at home to Al Masri by a goal to nil. Al Mukaloon, Al Harab, and El Zamalek played out a goalless draw, while Al Ali and Smoha also played out a goalless draw. And to the English Premier League, it resumes on Monday, just eight days after the World Cup final in Qatar, and Tottenham manager Antonio Conte has suggested he will only select players who are not involved in the tournament for his side's Boxing Day match at Brentford. Conte was, uh, he has already said his players who were involved in the final, that is uh, Francis Hugo Loris, that's the goalkeeper, and Argentina's Cristian Romero will not face the Bs. Rodrigo Bentanco will miss Monday's lunchtime kickoff due to suspension, but has also been nursing a minor hamstring issue. Now, the same injury will sideline Richarlison for a month. He picked it up playing for Brazil in Qatar. And Lucas Moura's problems with his tendon continues. Talking about the English Premier League now, we'll look at the fixtures. Brentford will take on Tottenham Hotspur. There will be Crystal Palace taking on Fulham. Everton versus Wolverhampton Wanderers. Leicester City takes on Newcastle United. Southampton will battle it out with Brighton and Old Albion. Aston Villa will take on Liverpool. And Arsenal will be at home as they welcome West Ham United. And in the NBA, the Golden State Warriors did not struggle without Steph Curry because he's still injured. And the coach says he should be out for at least two more weeks before he returns to play for the Golden State Warriors. He missed that game against the Memphis Grizzlies as they defeated the team, 123 to 109 points. And Boston Celtics went on to defeat the Milwaukee Bucks, 139 to 118 points. And that's a wrap on Sports Update on Breakfast Central. I am Udoka Njoko. Compliments of the season to you, Asalge and Olive. Thank you very much. Uh, two things that I will mention, uh, first of all, if you didn't win the World Cup, I don't know why, you know, they're getting rested, you know, uh, uh, for the EPL. You know, of course, and that's with regards to the Antonio Conte story, uh, trying to rest certain players that took part in the World Cup. If you didn't win, go back to the EPL and continue playing. But aside that, you know, I want to ask, is there a football player that you might tattoo on your, on your body? On my what? Is there a football player that you would like to have a tattoo of that person on your body? Uh, no. You know, I was going to ask um, Olive that question. I, I, I really don't see any need for me to tattoo any name, any football player, nothing on my body, no piercings, nothing at all. No tattoo. No matter so, how much I love... A, you're not a tattoo person. No, nah, I'm not a tattoo saying. person. But I don't have anything against anyone who wants to uh, tattoo anything. But football players, movie stars, music stars, 
Even my own name, I will not tattoo. <laughs> so in the event, so now let's tweak it. In the event that you were open to tattoos, I know you said you're not open to tattoos, mm. and you had one person to pick. Yeah, one sports, one sports person. One sports person. Who's your sports idol? One sports idol? person. How about, what, what if it's not just sports? Away Udoka, from... Unjoku. <laughs> sports. <laughs> <laughs> one sports person. Yes. Wow. One that person be... that you can say is, is, you know, is maybe your sports idol, someone that you've always, mm. always admired. Well, I was still tattoo Pele's name on my body. I was going to ask if Pele wasn't on that list. Pele. Okay. It has to be Pele because he has achieved a whole lot in football, not just in football, outside football as well. He has affected so many people across the world. So I will tattoo Pele's name on my body. Ollie, well, who, who would you tattoo? Michael Jackson. He's not a sports, sports person, person Ollie. Sports person. Ah, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Well, maybe Serena Williams. Ah. If I, okay. I mean, I'm not a fan, just like Udoka is. Mm. I'm not a fan of tattooing people on my body. I do appreciate artsy tattoos is why I would do henna because my mother said to me, I don't like tattoos. Hopefully, mm. you know, that can change in the nearest future. <laughs> but I think Serena Williams would be it. Yeah. I think I, I'm, I'm going Ronaldo, to Ronaldo, of course. We'll no, not really. Point. Funny enough, I was, really? gonna, I was actually going to say either Serena or Roger Federer. Roger Federer, um, oh. Yeah. I, I Two legends of the game. I completely love, yeah. I love Roger Federer. Mm. Um, not just, you know, because I'm, I really don't watch a lot of tennis, but mm. I enjoyed his reign as world champion. I truly enjoyed it, even when I wasn't watching tennis. Mm. Um, and his personality also. I think he's, he's, a, he's a phenomenal person. Right. Um, let, let me quickly ask you about, um, there was something that trended on social media yesterday, uh, Christmas Day, and uh, it was about Mo Salah, who celebrated Christmas with his family, took a picture with a family tree, and you know, the whole PJ uh, family pictures. And he had a lot of backlash online saying, look, you're a Muslim, why are you celebrating Christmas? And Mo Salah doesn't even care. Every this year happens he every time. Christmas with exactly, his every time. He will mm. post, they will drag, and will go, the cycle rinse, repeat. I don't see anything wrong with I, I don't either. When it's the Muslim holiday, we see Christians go mm -hmm. to hang out with their Muslim friends who are busy begging for Ram at every opportunity. <laughs> I'm, I'm one of them. So exactly. So I, I don't really think that it should be that much of a big deal. When you're talking about religious tolerance, these are some of the conversations that will come up when talking about religious tolerance. Mm -hmm. Live and let live. Mm -hmm. All right. Sure. Well, Lucas, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you again. Thank you very much.